This is the MGTOW Infinium here with another Infinium Short Take. This Infinium Short Take is entitled, They Still Won't Admit It. Now my MGTOW brothers, as I was working at my computer systems the other day, um, I happened to have the TV on in the background, and a commercial from one of the news stations came over the air, and it happened to discuss weekend divorces. They also went on to allude that the COVID-19 virus, because of the lockdowns, because of it forcing people to really be in close quarters with each other, couples to be in close quarters with each other, is causing divorce rates to go up. Now, my MGTOW brothers, accordingly, I said in the back of my mind, yeah, right. Because I know the real reason, the real reason why the mainstream media will not admit to the truth of the matter is because of what they are. They are uh, basically phonies. But the truth of the matter is that the COVID-19 virus is not the uh, cause of the divorce rates going up. It is the effect and the power of the MGTOW philosophy. The MGTOW philosophy well before the uh, COVID-19 hit was causing devastation to the feminist plantation states. It was not only causing divorce rates to go up, it was uh, causing marriage rates to go down, birth rates to go down, Accordingly, uh, wedding venues shut down because of it. Uh, the um, baby shops shut down. Uh, bridal shops shut down. There was a whole spate in 2019, well before all these shutdowns, all these increases in divorces, all these in, uh, decreases in marriage. Again, well before the uh, COVID-19. And um, I will say even further that uh, going uh, from 2018 and to 2019, there was an acceleration of this, again, before the COVID-19 hit. But of course, the mainstream media will not admit to the uh, MGTOW philosophy. Uh, and if they do, it is only to slight the philosophy and say that, uh, for instance, all MGTOW men are sick. But getting back to what I was saying, again, the COVID-19 only exacerbated what we as MGTOW men knew all along, that there was no benefit to either cohabitating with or marrying women in this day and age. And basically the shutdown, the uh, shutdown caused by the COVID-19 virus uh, caused many men who were married or cohabitating with women to really actually see what these women are really like. So for instance, that woman that they walked down the aisle with, uh, that came down the aisle to where they were standing um, and uh, stood before them with a, uh, a preacher and said those vows and said, I love you, I will uh, support you, do whatever, blah, blah, blah. That woman that stood at the altar is a very different woman who they are living with. And these men who are either cohabitating with or have married women are finding out what the true horror and the nature of that beast is. And also they're finding out on a day by day, day basis, the problems with a woman who they're living with, who they thought they knew, who they thought they were marrying, who is now having a day-by-day -day in a bitch emergence. But again, the mainstream media will not admit this. They will only admit that, uh, well, maybe the COVID-19 virus did this and did that. But it's in actuality, again, the penetration in the effect of the MGTOW philosophy, which has caused these things to happen. And, and furthermore, my brothers, 
again, when the MGTOW philosophy began to have traction and began to and began to devastate the feminist plantation state, things that women usually use, like her pergamy, monkey branching, all these types of things uh, became kind of hindered. So when the COVID-19 hit, this only, only accelerated and exacerbated what the MGTOW philosophy was doing. And basically, as RPM has said, it really shut the lights off. And um, now women are facing situations where they cannot find men. They, if they do find men, the men walk away from them immediately. They're facing situations where um, dating coaches, show dating coaches are running around. We have a problem, but they can offer no answers to the problem. They're facing situations where the men will not dialogue with them. Men will not uh, talk to women at all. They're facing all types of issues. And again, this coupled with having no place to go, except for maybe a gym or a grocery store or maybe a, uh, a Target, women are in a desperate situation. So my MGTOW brothers, again, let me remind you that we are in a very profound time and that you as a MGTOW, you need to concentrate on where you're going, concentrate on what you need to do, and not that desperate woman who is uh, following you around in the grocery store trying to talk to you, not the woman from your past who is texting you desperately trying to get back with you, not the uh, woman who has uh, divorce raped you, but then now is calling you up in the middle of the night crying and sobbing, and I want to get back with you because I love you. I, I made a big mistake. You need to concentrate on where you need to go. And as I said before in past training sessions and uh, short takes and uh, out and abouts, you need to hold the line, my brothers. It is important for you, my brothers, again, to understand the profound time that you are in and understand that the mainstream media will not admit to the, the power of the MGTOW philosophy. But my brothers, it is up to you to understand the profound power of the philosophy and to therefore daily embrace the MGTOW philosophy and daily take your red pills. Because my brothers, again, there, there is no, no positively, no benefit to you to either cohabitate with or to marry women in this day and age. There is no benefit to you, my brothers. There is only trouble if you do so. And you can only, you can, you just have to look at the, the space of divorces, the things that are going on, the, uh, all the types of issues that you're seeing, the, uh, high end men that are getting, uh, divorce rape, the, the, the women that are saying, I, I, I want to go back out in the dating scene. For instance, I was looking at Coach Greg Adams. He was talking about another woman who, who uh, is in a high-end marriage, and she's, well, I need to go back on the dating scene. I need to do this. I need to do that. So, my brothers, again, the only benefit to you is to stay on course, to hold the line, and to go your way and be free, my brothers. You must remember that your peace, your sanctity, and your freedom, which has been afforded to you by the MGTOW philosophy, has an incalculable price to it. And so, therefore, you must embrace those things and go your way and be free. This is the MGTOW Infinium, and this has been an Infinium short take. My MGTOW brothers, as always, 
Stay safe, stay strong, stay on the MGTOW path, and remember, MGTOW is the liberation of men's minds. MGTOW cannot and will not be stopped.